Hey everyone, it's Miss Sims here. Today we are going to be working on a technique instead of a project. And a technique is how we do something. We are going to learn how to use watercolors the right way. Watercolors are a very cool tool, but they can get messed up very easily, especially if we start mixing colors. So today it's all about learning how to use and take care of our watercolors the right way. So that way next week we can start on a new watercolor project. I'm excited. I hope you are too. Let's go ahead and get started. Today you're going to be creating a poster out of watercolor that also is going to remind you about some of our watercolor rules. This was done on a half sheet of sulfite paper, so feel free to cut your sheet in half so you don't have as big of a space to paint. As always, we have two goals for the day. The first goal is to be able to explain one way to take care of our watercolors. You are going to explain that by actually creating a drawing, like a poster, explaining what is right and what is wrong. We are also going to practice painting responsibly with our watercolors, making sure they don't get mixed up. You will need paper, your watercolor set, a cup of water, and a cloth or a paper towel to clean up with after. I have two quick tips for you on your materials before we get started. The first one is what watercolor set you use. This watercolor set already has a paintbrush. If you don't have a paintbrush with your watercolor set, you'll need to find one and hopefully a watercolor paintbrush. A watercolor paintbrush has all of the bristles laid down really flat and soft, but it's usually rounded. It's not like thick and coarse. That's the difference between a watercolor paintbrush and a regular one. You also want to make sure the cup of water you use is one that you don't mind getting dirty and getting paint in it. So like this, don't use your water bottle that you're going to drink out of. Use a cup that you don't mind getting dirty and paint on. Once you have all of your supplies out, we can go ahead and get started. I'm actually going to start drawing this with a pencil first. You can do that as well, or you can just go straight with painting. So basically, I'm just taking my piece of paper with my pencil. I'm drawing a line down the middle and then a circle in the middle of that line. I'm going to take the eraser from my pencil. I'm going to erase the line in the middle so it's a circle, and then we're putting V and an S. That means versus, because we're going to show good versus bad on one side. My example is going to be a good and a bad paintbrush to remind us how to take care of it, but you can do a paint palette or whatever you want. It's up to you. You can watch mine to see how I decide to draw mine. Basically on one side, I'm just drawing a nice paintbrush where all the bristles are going the same direction. And on the other side, I'm drawing a paintbrush that got messed up from pushing too hard. So its bristles are going all over the place. Basically after this, we get to wake up our paint palette. That's what it's called. So we're gonna get our paintbrush out, open up our paint palette, and we are going to very lightly get that water rubbed into the paint. And you're probably going to need to do this two or three times like I'm doing with the color green here. It's easiest if you do it on the side of your paintbrush. And then you can start to color in one of your backgrounds green because green means good and so that's the good side that we're working on. Once you have finished the whole green side, you're going to want to rinse out your paintbrush really well and then dab it on its sides on your towel. You never want to push down on the top of your paintbrush because that's what gives us the scraggly points. I already woke my red up pretty well, so I'm going to get right into painting. Make sure you are using lots of water so we don't waste our paint. From here, you can paint the rest of the details of your poster, just keeping in mind to be really gentle with your paintbrush, never pushing down on top and using lots of water. After you have finished all of your details, you're going to rinse your watercolor brush off really well one more time in the water. Dab it really nicely on the towel, just like that. Make sure you're not pushing down on the top of your paintbrush. And then we're going to use that towel to clean up our watercolors. They're probably going to be pretty wet, just like mine, and they might even have some drips on there. So we're going to try and wipe some of that off the best we can so that our watercolor palette stays nice. We don't want that liquid to mix together and ruin all of the colors by mixing together and then they would turn like kind of all a brown color. Once you have properly cleaned your watercolors, you can put everything back where it goes very nicely and neatly. And then once your poster dries, you can outline anything in marker, but don't use that marker until everything on your paper is dry. That's it for our lesson today. I hope you had fun and I hope you learned a little bit about how to care for your watercolors. Don't forget to come back next week for our 
first watercolor unit of the year. See you next time.